After more than 30 years on the throne, Emperor Akihito made a slow final walk into the ceremonial room in the Imperial Palace. As was so often the case throughout his reign, he was accompanied and supported by his wife Empress Michiko. Akihito then spoke for the last time as Emperor of Japan. It is fortunate that I have been able to perform my duty as Emperor with profound trust in and respect for the Japanese people for 30 years since my ascension to the throne. To the people who accepted and supported me as a symbol, I express my heartfelt thanks. There was little fanfare or fuss surrounding this ceremony, which lasted around 10 minutes. The low-key nature of it was perhaps fitting for an emperor who sought to change the perception of the role. One of Akihito's legacies is that he modernized the imperial family by attempting to make it relevant. And because of that, there is still widespread public support for it, according to polling. And there was also overwhelming support for this abdication. In a surprise speech three years ago, he said he felt his health and age would prevent him performing his duties. But he had to stop short of saying he wanted to retire because there was no law allowing for abdication. But the message from the palace and the support for his wishes from the public meant the government had little choice but to pass a one-off law allowing for the abdication. With the day of abdication, we reflect upon the long years over which the emperor has thoughtfully shared the happiness and sadness of the people of Japan and renew once again the feeling of deep respect and thanks. Among those at the ceremony, the oldest son of Akihito, Crown Prince Naruhito, who on Wednesday will become the 126th Emperor of Japan. That will be his day. This one belonged to Emperor Akihito. After a few minutes, the abdication was complete. The 85-year-old offered a bow and a moment's reflection before leaving the room, heading for a quieter life. Wayne Hay, Al Jazeera, Tokyo.